Hello everyone. This is a video tutorial showing how to build a snub dodecahedron frame using 4,320 Zen magnets. The frame does not hold its own weight in Earth's, Earth's gravity. A separate video tutorial shows how to prevent this collapse by filling in the triangular and the pentagonal faces. The result is a hollow sphere, which I call the snub ball, that surpasses the ultimate ball in size, weight, sphericity, strength, rigidity, and scalability. With 80 triangular faces and 12 pentagonal faces, the snub dodecahedron is the most spherical of the 18 highly symmetric Platonic and Archimedean solids. It comes in two chiral forms, one the mirror image of the other. This is the clockwise form in which the pentagons are rotated clockwise from their positions in the dodecahedron. This is the mm -hmm. counterclockwise form in which the pentagons are rotated counterclockwise from their positions in the dodecahedron, like that. To build the shape, wind a stack of 24 hexagon rings and cut these into 12 double rings to be used as vertex pieces. Just like that. Then wind two stacks of 30 rings of 12 magnets each. And you're going to wind these in the same direction from the same end of the same magnet chain. Then you're going to flatten these stacks so the rightmost rings have a single magnet on the top and the bottom. So here's the right end of the stack and I want it to flatten in such a way that you get a single magnet on the top and the bottom. The alternative is to flatten it this way, in which case the, the rightmost ring has a double magnet on the top and the bottom. So you want the single in order to get the polarity right, like that. And then cut these into 30 edge pieces. Just like that. Then assemble these pieces into six different subunits. The edge pieces should fit into the vertex pieces like this. If they don't, then turn the vertex pieces over so that they do. 
And the first one, the first of these six different subunits, starts off with a triangle. like that and then you're going to add edge pieces here and here and here it's the first subunit second one Starts off with these two. like that. Then repeat this procedure four more times until you have five of each type of subunit. These are the subunits for the clockwise frame. All that's needed now is to snap them together. Now when these come together, to make it strong, you separate them. Pinch it so it separates like that.
Proceed similarly for the counterclockwise frame. These are the subunits and you just snap them together.